Just another quick little video. I am the Caveman, and this is Caveman Classics. And I am in the White Mountain National Forest again on a different little stream. My other spot was taken. It's kind of hit or miss when you're up here to find an open spot. I didn't even know there was a brook back here, but I pulled in and checked it out, and here we are. Somebody had a little campfire going. My truck's just right up there. You can almost see it right, right there. But I found this nice little brook here. This is the inside curve as it would come around. Got a nice high bank over here that goes way up. So the water would have to come over this way. So I found these rocks here in this nice little area. So I started digging right there in the in these rocks. Got a pan. We're gonna see how it goes. So, there's all kinds of little streams up here. This one again doesn't have a name. I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's a name for it someplace. I'll have to look it up. Maybe I'll put it down in the description. But yeah. Let's see. So I've been digging out and around these rocks like I said earlier. And I've been digging through here on the back side. Let me show you what I found. Found, look at this mud. Look how thick that is. That's exactly what you're looking for because the gold gets trapped in it and it can't go anywhere. I mean, that is some thick thick mud that is a good sign so I'm gonna go pan that out and see if there's anything in it it's so muddy that you actually have to go in and break it up with your hand to go and break it free. Get that mud out of there. It's just so thick. It's like pudding. You always want to rinse your hands off after. Agitate it. Get some of that stuff off the top. Have to keep bringing it over here, setting it down. Breaking it up again. Agitate it. Get the heavy stuff to fall to the bottom. Clear some more of those rocks off the top. Starting to clear up a little bit. I'm gonna pick these bigger rocks out. Gonna have to get a classifier one of these days. <laughs> Still really just thick. I just want to get that top stuff to slide off. I 
Actually, you can still see all the dirt that's in there. So you get it down to a workable amount. Yeah, the water's still a little cloudy. No. I have to put the camera down and pan out the rest and I'll let you know what happened. So I just started agitating it. It's getting a lot of reflection here. But there's a piece of gold right there. Look at that. Huh? Nice. That's why I said that sticky mud, that's what you want to get into. Because that's what you'll find. Now I gotta go and pan the rest of it, but that's that's a beauty. So there it is. Won't focus. Come on, focus. There we go. That's what we found. That little hole. Not too bad. Now, if you, the, it doesn't seem like much, that's because I call that the gold rush theory. Everybody sees the TV show Gold Rush and they're thinking that they're going to make millions. Well, it doesn't work like that. If you think that you're going to make a lot of money gold panning, you'd be better off to spend that gas money on lottery tickets. This isn't why you do it. You just do it because you can find gold and be out in nature. And so, there we go. Four nice little pieces.